Cool. So yes, uh, once the other guides come back then, we're going to split you up into three teams. And then as individual teams, then we're going to teach you how to manoeuvre the boats, how to paddle them, stuff like that. Cool. Uh, if you've never been rafting before, uh, the guide sits in the back end of the boat and we call instructions to you. We're going to ask you when to paddle, uh, tell you which direction we want you to paddle in. So as teams, you know, you're going to be all coordinated. All right. Uh, the Arnold River, it's, it's a fun little river. Uh, there's lots of trees hanging down the sides, but there's it's nice warm water. There's good sections that you can go swimming in. So it's a really fun trip. But there are a few rocks and things. Um, we could crash into those rocks, and those rocks could cause you to fall out. So I'll just show you a couple of things uh, about the boat. So the raft, uh, we always sit on the grey stripes that's on the side. So you're sitting on the outside of the boat. If you're on the right side of the boat, you put your right foot forward under the tube in front of you. Uh, the front people have a little pocket uh, and the other foot is beside you, so you're balanced. If you're on the left side, you put your left foot forward. Right, but you're sitting a little bit like this, out on the side. And believe it or not, the most injuries in, uh, in rafting, they happen in the raft. And it's usually when someone holds their paddle like this, they're having a good time and they hit the people around them. So uh, the classic injury is to hit yourself in the face with your own paddle. So we ask that you never hold your paddle like this. Always put your hand over the, over the end of the paddle and the other hand goes in the middle. So this is the safe and correct way to hold your paddle. When you're not paddling, it just sits on your legs. Yep, so we paddle forwards, we paddle backwards, and in places that, where you could fall out, we ask you to stop paddling, and we get you to hold this rope that's on the outside of the boat. We call that the safety line. Uh, if you're holding onto that rope and you fall into the water, we want you to hold that rope, make your body really flat, so your nose and your toes are up on the surface, but this is how you should be if you fall into the water. Make your body flat lying back. Yep. Hold that raft really strong, and the other people in the boat, they're going to pull you back into the raft uh, once they've finished laughing at you. Alright. Can I get a volunteer? Can I ask you to help me, please? You've yes, got all sir. your gear on. That's fantastic. Can you just pretend to be uh, someone that's in the water? Yeah. Make your body flat. Hold that paddle, please. Great. And of course, hold the raft nice and strong. Good. Perfect. So, if I'm in the boat and I'm sitting across from you, I'm over here. And I see he's in the water, uh, because I'm his buddy, it's my job to pull him back in. First things we do when we're pulling someone in is we stow the paddles. Yep, I'm going to go across to the other side of the boat and take his paddle into the boat. So we get the paddles in, we get them out of the way. What you can do now is hold the rope with two hands, try and pull yourself in. I'm going to grab him by the jacket like that and pull him in really strong. If you have a look at my body position, my knees and my legs are braced against the boat. That way when I pull him in, I'm also going to use my body weight to pull him back in. If you are the person that's in the water, please never put your feet down and try to jump into the raft. Let the people that are in the boat, let them pull you back into the boat. So you can use your arms, yep, we pull you in, like that. Cool? So use your, long, your strong leg muscles to pull them in. We're going to make these jackets nice and tight on your body so they you know, so they really stick to you nicely. Good job. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Yep. Round of applause. Great stuff here. Woo! All right. Sometimes people fall in and they don't hold the raft in time and they move away from the raft. If you see somebody do that, if they're just near the boat, you can pass your paddle to them like this and help them. If you see somebody in the water today, we want you to try and help them. Pass your paddle, yell out, grab my paddle, let them grab it, pull them in close. If you're in the water, let go of the paddle and grab the raft as soon as you can so we can put the paddle away. And then again, we rescue like that. Yep. Now, you might fall in and drift away, so your guide might ask everybody else to chase after you by paddling. Yep. There are situations where we might try and throw a rope to you. All the guides carry these things are called throw bags, and it's just a bag full of rope. If you're floating off downstream, you'll hear us yell out, rope! We hold on to the end of the rope and we throw the whole bag at you. It flies through the air as it comes out. They're a really cool rescue tool. Once you've got a hold of the rope, we just pull you in like a big fish. 
Before I showed you how I want you to be in the water. So just a reminder, if you're in the water today and you're floating off down the river and the rope lands on top of you like this, that's a perfect shot. Hold the rope with two hands and stay like this. Nose and toes up on the surface. Yep, you'll come in nice uh, and backwards towards the raft, that's perfect. Please never tie the rope around yourself. This is dangerous. Keep the rope simply like that. Cool? If it's a bad shot and we miss you, try to swim for the rope. Yeah. Any questions about the rope? There's go. No, that's cool. All right. If you're a good swimmer and you hear us asking you to swim, it's okay to swim back to the raft. The only thing is, keep your head up so you can see us and keep your face out of the water. But if you're a good swimmer, it's okay to swim back to the raft today. If you are in the river and you see an instructor going like this, they're asking you to swim that way. Start swimming in the direction that he's pointing. Cool. All right. It's not normal that people fall out. This is just a few ideas on what to do if you do fall out or if someone else falls out. Okay. Another thing that can happen. The whole boat can tip over and it can land on top of us. Right, this is what it looks like. Looks a bit like a big turtle. If it lands on top of you, you might be underneath the raft inside these, these spaces. If you're under the raft, you can breathe in these pockets. Uh, we want you to clear yourself to the outside of the raft straight away. Please don't stay under the raft. Get yourself out by pushing down. Use your hands, grab these ropes, and get yourself outside the raft. When you're on the outside, you pull yourself along the raft to one end or the other end. When you're at the end of the boat, your guide can flip the boat back over. If you're on the sides, the boat could land on you. So we want you to move to the ends so it's a lot more comfortable for you when we turn it back. The rafts go together down the river, so we all help each other. If one boat tips over, those two rafts would come and also try and pick you up. So we do work together as a team to rescue each other. Any questions about flipping over? No? Cool. The river's not very deep. Sometimes when you're in the water, you will feel the bottom. So it's a normal reaction to stand up and to jump in the raft or to stand up and walk in the river. We want you to stay flat. It's okay to swim. The golden rule for your safety, never stand in the river. It's possible your leg could get stuck between rocks. If your leg gets stuck between the rocks, you will be stuck in the river, and that's a really dangerous situation to be in. If you get stuck in the river, you could get very um, injured legs, broken <coughs> legs, uh, injuries like that, and people have been known to drown when they've had their legs stuck in the bottom of the river. So we know it's very, very dangerous. Do not stand up. Is that quite clear, that one? Yeah. Cool. Lastly, uh, when the guides get here and you get split up into your teams, please don't forget to remind us or tell us about any medical conditions. If you've got a bad shoulder, arm problems, bad backs, anything like that, it doesn't mean you can't come. Um, we can just give you some tips on how to sit just so you're more comfortable out there. Cool. If you're a good swimmer, or rather, if you can't swim, do also tell your guide, and that way we can place you just in front of us where we can keep a closer eye on you. Sound good? Cool team. Nice punctuation there. Uh, let's go rafting. Woohoo!